Hey guys, welcome back to the Playwright series. Uh, today we are going to see how to debug our test code from the VS Code. Okay, it's going to be very simple and this video will be very short. So first thing, go to your play.config file. Okay, so go there and make sure that whatever the file you are going to debug, that should be within the test match. Okay, preferably only one uh, because if you have like multiple debug file, then it's like mul doing multiple debugging okay so preferably have only one file that you are going to do the debug okay second thing go to your test file it can be like your page update model or any of the basic script anything is fine okay for this example i'm going to click on this before each and probably on the first line of the test and here and this uh, line okay so likewise wherever you want to do the debug point probably you can just go and click and have the debug point okay that's it we are done last step give control shift p to bring the command palette and here we have to give like debug npm script i have already used this so it is basically like uh, your in the recent but in your case it should be like debug and then followed by uh, you can give colon and again you give like debug and here you can be able to see like debug npm script okay uh, that's going to be very simple um, so probably we'll get it okay so just uh, select on that and then it will ask you two things one is the npx playwright test another one is the playwright text uh, and then followed by something right how this is coming is basically go to your package.json file and within the script you can see that we have two tests right one is the npx play, npx playwright test and another one is the to update the snapshots right so go to your command prompt i mean command palette control shift p and type debug npm script okay then select which one you want to use so i'm going to select the first one the test and then it will go to your uh like the test wherever you have set the debug there it's going to stop for example uh the npx player at test is running after that you will be able to see some message like debugger attached and after that it is going to take your configuration file default configuration file and here you can see like running two tests using one occur right and then here you can see that the browser got launched but the url is not loaded because it's waiting for this point i mean waiting in this point like we have to click on this uh, continue button to go to the next debugging point okay so now here you can see that the page is loaded and then again it's going to wait uh, here okay so i'm just using control tab i mean alt tab to switch between the apps okay now here you can see that it's again waiting in this one click login link right so if i click on this continue again uh, in the browser you can see it's now in the login page right and here uh, we are trying to do the asset right so here you can see that page.url now let's say that i want to know what's this url is going to give me in the runtime right so what can i do is i can simply select this text uh, the page.url function and i can do right click and i can use like evaluate in debug console okay so that will be visible here right so here you can see that uh, let code dot in slash sign in that is what we have here okay and if you are going to use some variables very frequently or some methods very frequently you can select those and you can click on like add to watch so here in the left hand side from your debug panel there will be several uh, blocks like here we have like variable and here you can see all the objects like within the common page whatever we have within the login page whatever we have we got all the objects and here you can see that page.url uh, the url we are getting okay and here we have all the breakpoints okay now i'm going to click on this next the continue button so here if i mouse over on this you can see that this email uh, contains the value of this email id okay similarly you can go and check so i'm going to click uh, continue again so it should go and finish the first test then it will go to the next test block so again it's going to wait here because we have added the breakpoint in the before each so before each and every test we are loading the url okay i'm going to click on the continue and here you can see that this guy loaded fully now after that uh, where i have the debug point i have debug point in the very point in the very first line so it is go and it will uh, okay uh, it will go and stop it here okay now just in case if you want to go inside this function and check anything uh, it does it it's not working directly what we can do is we can go within the function uh, like for example let's say that i want to check how this center user e name is doing the enter right 
So I can click on this and probably I can set a breakpoint here and then again I can uh, click on continue. So it's going to go to that particular step. So here you can see now it's this guy's uh, waiting, right? So I can again click on the this side here on the line number and then here you can see like whether the element is null or not okay so it, this is basically element handle okay so sometimes i say like web element sometimes i say like element now while doing the debugging i came to know that the return type of the space dot dollar is basically known as element handle okay so any element handle so if you mouse over on this you can see all the properties like uh, the connections the channel that i don't know what is that but yeah it is type of element handle okay that's it very simple and if you want to stop your code or stop the debugging you can click on this disconnect so it will stop the entire debugging okay so that's it very quick tip uh, and i believe it should work in your system as well for uh, javascript or the typescript both are going to be same so here i'm using typescript but if you are going to use the javascript both this both are same okay no there will be no difference i believe if you have any further queries do let me know in the comments i will try my best to give you the answer okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you like the video you know what to do like the video share with your friends colleagues and if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe that will help me in some way okay so tada bye see you